Hey guys, it's Tim, and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So this past Friday night, Kenny Omega, in conjunction with the CEO Fighting Gaming Championships and New Japan Pro Wrestling, put on a show called When Worlds Collide. Now on this show, Kenny Omega was basically responsible for the whole thing. Omega did book a wrestler named Chase Rance, and Rance competed in the dark match, the first match of the show, and this reportedly upset a lot of fans because Rance is a convicted sex offender. Rance did plead no contest to charges of a lewd and, I'm going to mess this word up, lascivious battery. The reports are that he allegedly had sex with a 15-year-old girl back in 2008. A lot of people have been going online now and giving a lot of hate to Kenny Omega for booking Rance on this show, and Omega released the following statement. I want to thank everyone that tuned into the stream or joined us live for CEO Cross New Japan Pro Wrestling. All of our talent had a great time and fed off your incredible energy throughout the entire night. I'm incredibly proud of everything I personally produced, but unfortunately made a terrible oversight by allowing a dark match featuring local talent I wasn't personally familiar with. Admittedly, I met Chase and Ryan once, but a lot can happen in 14 years. I'm terribly sorry for everyone in the building that felt unsafe or personally offended by his inclusion on the show. I will personally provide refunds to anyone in attendance that can't enjoy themselves because of this. As for fans that were taken aback on stream, again, my bad. I allowed our ring crew, also a wrestling school, to participate in a dark match, minus graphics and music, as a show of appreciation for the hard work they'd done to help prepare our set for the show. There were a large group of people, and I'd very simply asked for two guys that can have a basic and effective dark match. Chasen and Epic were the wrestlers they chose, and I was reassured they were more than capable. The match itself went fine, and both of them were pleasant backstage, but I didn't realize until later via social media and etc. that the first dark match I'd allowed were caused trauma amongst some fans. By no means do I wish to support or defend these people. I trusted blindly and potentially tarnished the name of an event that was very important to me and took a lot of time and finances to realize. I'm sorry for anyone truly hurt by this and can assure people I won't be taking chances like this in the future. I will monitor every detail directly if and when we challenge CEO across NJPW Part 2. So basically Kenny said this school helped us set up the show, helped us with the ring and the stage and everything, and as a, you know, a thank you, he said, hey, you guys can have a match in front of the crowd. You're not going to go on television or on the stream or anything, but you can do something in front of the crowd. Apparently, the match did air because the show started late, so they thought, hey, we're starting late. Let's just air everything. And now Kenny's getting a bad rap. So as far as this all goes, I I guess you can put the blame on Kenny Omega for not being as efficient as he could have. But at the same time, he did say, give me two guys. And the school thought Rance would be okay to put on the show, knowing his past and all of that. So, I mean, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But this is a pretty tough situation because now some people may be like, oh, I'm not going to trust Kenny Omega to book a show in the future. I'm not going to trust Kenny and his judgment going forward. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like and share this video, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, subscribe here on YouTube, and follow PWUnlimited.net for the latest in pro wrestling news.